What up, YouTube? My name is Nathaniel Green, and welcome to King Bedosha's Effects. Before I get started with the tutorial, I have to say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. Today, we have reached a thousand and one subscribers. Hail to the year. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Now, with that said, let's get started with the tutorial, shall we? I'm here in Adobe After Effects CS6. Today I'll be working with Element 3D V2. Any Element 3D should work just the same. Um, today I'll be showing you how to create a scatter effect with Element 3D objects. Let's get started. First, we want to open up composition, new composition. Then we want to go to layer, new, solid. We're going to call this element 3D. So let's call this E3D for short. Click OK. Now, we want to go to effects, video copilot, element. We want to go to scene setup. And now we're inside element 3D. Let's go to the starter pack right here. And here we have ball fracture. We want to use that because this is a fractured object. Also, the floor is also another fractured object. Rocks are not fractured objects, but I'll still bring it inside so you can kind of see what will happen. Certain other model, certain things you can use as fracture. Like for example, you could probably use this chessboard because they have different pieces. Like you see the different pieces. This here, you can probably use these light bulbs. They can probably shatter, probably not even really check into it. But um, yeah, but definitely these two are shattered objects. This one is not. You notice this is the group folder. I got all three of these in one folder, which is very important to know. You can put them in different folders and you and scatter different objects individually. But in this tutorial, I'll be using them all in one folder to try to make this video not too long. I'm also going to grab an environment from a desktop because I'm going to use one of my own environment maps. If you have like a 360 camera, you can take pictures, um, 360 videos and actually use those pictures in Element 3D. Use this one right here. Okay, let's click OK. See what it looks like. Okay, it's a little bit blurry right now, but it won't be blurry later. So let's click OK. Now the background. It's no background back here. We're gonna bring in the background that we just created real quick. So what we want to do is go to render settings, physical environment. Where it says show in background, let's check that. There we go. Boo yeah. Now we can close this back up. We want to go to now. Um, let's actually grab a camera too, because we're gonna need a camera. So let's go to layer new camera. Okay. And that's so we can um actually get some better cool animation once we shatter these see check it out inside the environment map you know that's cool well let's get started with the shattering with the scattering so you know you want to make sure you're on e3 3d element 3d um now we want to go to group one because that's where i have 
my objects in this folder. Once you open up group one, you want to go, this will be check. If it's not, make sure you check that right here where it says particle look, we want to click on that. Then you want to click on multi object and make sure enabled multi is checked. Now here go all the fun goodies of giving your objects that shatter effect. I'm actually gonna just check all these right now. Okay, and so right now they're in the default, but it's checked. So when we start doing some movement to like maybe when it gets to here, um, I'll start with the scatter. Let's raise up. See that? Cool. Notice the rock. Nothing's happening to the rock. And you just play with it till you get something what you like, what you're looking for. And all these have different, you know, looks for your um your shatter. Or scatter, I, I should say. You can rotate the objects. Notice the rock. And let's get a little bit more here. Let's mess with this one, make it stretch a bit more. That's that's pretty cool. All right, now let's bring this back. And let's actually just play this real quick by itself. So bring down the quality and let's just play this. When this fully turns green, it'll play smoother. It's just kind of see. Give it a little bit of time, and here you go. See, ain't this pretty cool? Now we want to get some camera movement with this. So let's stop that right there real quick, and um, let's go to our camera. Let's go to the camera, camera options, and also transform. And we want to check all these right now while it's in the stationary or the default. Then when it gets to here, you make sure you go up here, you choose whatever, how you want to put your camera to move. This will zoom back and forth. You know, you get the gist. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just kind of just going to rotate this. Actually, no, like that. That looks pretty cool. And let's keyframe all of this. And now let's actually play this. Let's see what we got. Ain't that pretty cool? Hope this video was helpful. If it was, comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you again for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. And like always, I see you guys in the next video. Peace.